what is up guys been here and welcome to channel been to come around today we are going to take a look on obs versus steam labs obs what is the main key features we are missing in obs and what is the features we are getting in steam labs obs and let's see the difference between them so to our left it's a obs uh, which i'm running on 22.0.2 version the latest one i guess and to our right i'm running on steam labs obs which is a 0.10.3 version and looks same i mean like far as the ui pretty much same and let's see how we can add scenes is there any difference and let's see in the scenes region click plus and i'm gonna name it as display okay so same goes to here display and I'm gonna add a display capture in here. Here's the display capture, display capture, yep, right there. Yep, done. Go to the source, plus, and display capture. Add source. I'm already having a display capture, so I'm gonna select it. If you don't have, you can rename it anywhere and add source. So I have the previous one, I'm gonna select it right here. Okay, looks messy. Mm, okay. And the next thing is we need to add an audio in for me I have my snowball mic I select it right there boom drop and pretty much same here mm, where is audio audio output audio input here add source and snowball pretty much same in this region so in the obvious there is a start stream record button studio mode settings exit so here we have the record button go live which is start stream the same and the settings is we can go from here and there is a setting in here as well for all the settings uh, i'm not covering in this video for all the stream output audio video advanced settings if you want you can comment me below i'm gonna create a new video for that if you want me to do that okay and so the key features we are missing in the obs and we have in the streamlabs obs are the overlays yes the overlays if you want to do an overlay on the obs you need to go to the photoshop and edit by yourself and do all those things it's going to take so much of time but in the streamlabs obs we have default overlays right here in the themes You can choose your own style you, you can pick anything okay let's go for this one okay you can watch anything like this and you need to install the overlay and we are not yet done yep now we are in okay we will get like starting soon live scene be right back ending soon and offline forget about all those things we only gonna cover like live scene okay here we are on my webcam and webcam for webcam you're gonna get like webcam frame the frame yeah let me off my webcam right here you can see okay, off the webcam yeah you can see the frame like imagine if you want to create a webcam overlay like this how much time you need to take it's gonna take some time to create like this overlays and streamlabs obs gives you like default there's so many of them you can choose from anything like you can go for first person shooter action massive multiplayer online role play games and anything and you you do have widgets as well we're gonna cover it later for now we're gonna go for Our main page our source abstract 3d so webcam i turn off my webcam and you can place it anywhere okay let's select it first and you can place it anywhere anywhere you want like and so the good thing with this overlay are you're gonna give it like top donations and new donations new followers your name the overlay chat wait 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 and the chat box and all those things you're gonna get for like instant clicks if you don't like anything I and mean, like, you can turn off the chat box right there so let's see into the header what we have in the header okay the new follower is here and it's gonna show right here 
this is my new follower I mean like new sub you can change the font here as well anything you like and the size the medium the color even the color as well from black to whatever, whatever thing you like same goes to the new donations right now I am with zero donations you can set it up if you like you can I mean like you can set it up anything like season top donator monthly top donator 30 top donator 30 days to a weekly top donator all time top donator season you can go through all of this and you can set it anything you like and you can do a sub goals as well I mean like sub goals sub goals sub goals you can go through anything okay you can go like total sub counter let's see for me I'm running on 2065 sub count for now and the new donation right there I'm gonna change it as sub count right there done you can change pretty much anything if you want header if you hold it you do have widgets as well let's see let's go to the widgets go to the widgets team mm, let's go for view counter go for okay set this drop okay in here you can select anything like alert box goals donations followers bits anything uh, chat box view count you can add anything if you want to like stream boss credits uh, widget packs uh, donation tickets the jar event list for me I'm gonna go with this all four alert box so goals chat box and view count so here we got the view count let's go to the view count and if you're running on page you're gonna select the twitch if you're running on the YouTube you should turn on the YouTube and twitch off off yes close right now I am offline so it's gonna show zero views if you're running live right now it's gonna show like how many people are viewing your stream and all those things and the donation goals donation goals gonna show there and you can change pretty much anything like title you know, like new donations like donation goals settings you can change the color as well text color as well background color as well and the layout as well and if you go for live in the streamlabs OBS it's gonna show all the live events going on right now okay these are my recent subscribers you go on this gonna show up okay now let's test our widgets as we set it up all those things and let's subscribe that's my subscriber yes this is the yellow one is for the right now we added like citrus drop right this is for the citrus drop and the sponsor as well and the donator to the chat think if you want to do this animation in the OBS it takes so much of time but rather in the streamlabs OBS we all have like default things just go for the themes which one do you like this select it and install that's it boom okay let's see this one or was more I'm gonna install okay it's only have the select like alert box Let's go for the alert box and right there. Did you see? Boom. Just with a couple of clicks, like three to four clicks, hardly. Done. If you don't want it, you can delete it. And if you want to add another new thing, go to the themes, widgets. Can select anything. Uh, let's go for this one. Hexagon. Select alert box. Install. Done. Now test. Right there. If you want, you can go for the theme color. Anything which matches your background or which matches your room lighting. You can go with that one as well so in the settings box as well we have like general stream output audio video hotkeys advanced hot 
and in the stream also there's like we do have some extra things like we do have like general stream output audio video hotkeys advanced and we do have this remote control appearance notifications sense since collections and these four are the new things which are added in the streamlabs obs if you want me to cover the settings and which settings i use for my live stream and what all those things in the settings i change in my live stream if you want to see them uh, comment down below i'm going to do another video for the settings things and for now so that's a uh, main difference between the obs and the streamlabs obs we get in the streamlabs obs we get the overlays widgets and a led box and all those things and if you want to turn it on on the obs it's like whole different concept like if you want to add all those animations in the obs you need to do by yourself uh, rather in the streamlabs obs they are all like default you can like within like six to seven clicks they are boom right there all those things are like pre-done for you you can choose from your colors as well so that's the reason why I changed from OBS to Streamlabs OBS. So you can see the main difference here right away. So that's it for now guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want me to do the settings video, I'm going to cover it in the another separate video. And that's pretty much for the OBS for the Streamlabs OBS for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for joining. See you in the next video. Tada.